What is up, bros and brats? I am Ink Slasher, and today we finally got some definitive information about Call of Duty World War II supply drops. And as you can probably tell by the title of this video, it's kind of cosmetic items only. And I say kind of simply because of the way he worded his response. And if you didn't already know, Earlier today, there was an AMA over on Reddit that Michael Condry did answering questions about multiplayer in World War II. And one of the th questions that someone asked was about supply drops. So let's look at the question and the response, and then after, I can explain to you what I mean by kind of cosmetic items only. So the question is, can you talk about supply drops, weapon variants, and daily and weekly contracts? Michael Condry responds and says this, Yes, all weapon variants and gear variants in Call of Duty World War II supply drops are cosmetic items only, so there are only non-stat based variants in play. We're also offering players collections and collection bounties, giving a direct path for our community to earn items through all modes of MP and headquarters play. There's a lot of really interesting things bundled up in that statement. A lot. And the first of which is that all weapon variants and gear variants are cosmetic items only. They will not change things in the game. However, there is nothing to be said in there about them actually adding weapons into supply drops like they did in MWR. No weapon variants, but actual weapons added in. Which is, I don't necessarily think, a bad thing as long as they're doing collection and collection bounties like they just said that they are going to. But this is actually a much bigger deal than people are saying and the reason for that is that in the past we've heard call of duty companies say these are supply drops are going to be cosmetic items only don't worry none of the stats will change yada 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 as we've gone on to see they then went in and put non-cosmetic items only well, this is the first time we've ever actually had a developer put down this in writing. This is the first time we actually have Michael Condry sending out information to the world that says that. In the past, what we've seen before is Call of Duty developers tell YouTubers or tell other people via voice that they are not going to do that. This is the first time it's ever been written down, and that's why I don't think he will go back on it. That being said, he says nowhere in this statement that there won't be different weapons in supply drops like there is in black ops 3 like there is in modern warfare remastered so if i could tell you exactly how supply drops work as of right now i think it's going to be very similar to modern warfare remastered the reason why i say that is because he brings up collection so if you haven't played modern warfare remastered basically what collections are is there's a collection of items and once you unlock everything in a collection you unlock a big item whether that's a ranged weapon a melee weapon or anything but you can choose a path to unlock that because every single thing can be unlocked with parts, which are basically salvage from Infinite Warfare. So basically his statement isn't saying that there's not going to be ranged weapons in Supply Drop. What his statement is saying is that there's going to be no stat changing weapon variants and no stat changing gear variants. However, on top of that, we do know that there is going to be Supply Drops that is confirmed. They are going to be mostly cosmetic items only, and there might be some ranged and melee weapons in there that we can earn via collection. Now, the other thing he brought up in this is collection bounties. We don't really know what that is. Of course, we've had bounties before, we've had contracts before, and I'm assuming it's something along those lines, where in completing the bounties, it'll earn something directly for an individual collection. But only time will tell for that, because we've never seen something like that in Call of Duty before. And if you have any ideas of what you actually think that'll be, feel free to let me know down in the comments. And then the final thing that I really wanted to point out is this statement right here. We are also offering collection and collection bounties giving a direct path for our community to earn items through all modes of mp and headquarters play there are two parts of that that are really interesting to me first of all i don't know whether he's just describing salvage or parts here or whether he's describing earning keys like it is in current call of duty games i'm not 100 percent sure and only time will tell for that because he didn't confirm whether or not keys were going to be in the game he didn't confirm salvage he didn't confirm parts all he confirmed was collections and cosmetic only weapon variants and gear variants that's it that's the only thing that's confirmed as of right now the other thing is is he says that you will be able to earn these in all modes of mp and headquarters play what exactly does that mean so first of all all modes of mp that's 
pretty straightforward. So that's Team Deathmatch, War, anything along those lines. But then he also says End Headquarters Play. Now, we've got a little bit of information in the past before about the game modes offered in Headquarters, but up until this point, we've never heard them referred to as that. I just assumed that they were going to be various multiplayer modes, which means there's literally going to be directly games in Headquarters. So the one thing that they have announced was at E3, they said that there's going to be duels in Headquarters, where basically you go to a dueling pit and you can play 1v1 against someone else to see how long you can survive. Now, apparently, you're going to be able to earn keys or salvage or parts through they, those game modes as well. It sounds like there is also going to be multiple game modes in Headquarters. Another thing I think that they are describing here is ranked play. If you guys didn't already know, Michael Condry pretty much all but 100% confirmed that ranked play is going to be in Call of Duty World War II. And all of this information is incredibly exciting to me because based off of this information that we're being given it sounds like these guys are making an incredibly incredibly good call of duty game it sounds like they're listening to the community putting weapon variants in that are only cosmetic items only which is awesome and gear variants which is just going to be character gear which is also cosmetic items only the only thing we don't know as of right now is if they're going to do weapons additions like they did in modern warfare remastered and if they do i really don't think it's that big of a deal because they are giving us a direct way to earn them but what do you think do you think it's a big deal if they do that do you think they're going to do that or do you think it will only be cosmetic items only let me know what you think down in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video it would be fantastic if you could hit that like button but guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out Take it easy.